Let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart, pointing forward, knees relaxed, just lightly bent. Bring your hips forward towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in just a bit. Let the shoulders drop down and come forward. Just try to sense all of the bones stacking one on a top of each other. Breathe in and out through the nose. As you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward drawing the breath all the way down. We pause. And then with the exhalation, the abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath up and out the nose. And just focus for a moment on the breath. Feel it enter your nostrils. Go all the way down pause, then all the way up and out. Now become aware of your feet touching the ground. Dig the toes in a little bit. Feel every part of the bottoms of your feet making contact with the ground. Feel that connection all the way down to the center of the earth. You feel the earth rising up to support you, to merge with you. Just take a couple of nice, deep, long breaths. Nice and slow, both on the inhalation and the exhalation. Bring your hands around in front of you, palms up. As we breathe in, try to visualize and feel the energy coming up from the ground through the soles of your feet, your hands upward, fingertips pointing at each other. Palms rotate in front of your face, fingers interlock. Come up, follow. Holding your breath forward. Exhale, go down. So we pause, breathe in, interlacing the fingers, following them back. Hold the breath, head comes forward. Exhale down. So as we breathe in, we're looking up, seeing those snowflakes coming down, catching them in our palms, and then pushing them down to the earth. Couple more.
Last one. And down. And just stand for a moment. Again, feel that connection to the earth. Go to a little bit of a wider stance. Bend down, gather that snow, bring it all the way up the body, wrists cross, and then throwing it out into the air. So we breathe in as we go up, breathe out as we spread it across the sky and back into the earth. So we lift all this wonderful, beautiful snow and then spread it out. Feel it cascade down around you. One more time. And back down. Turn so your left foot is pointing forward to the side. Your right foot is turned at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're gonna come down, gather the snow, wrists cross, bring it up the body. Then release, we lean back and just look at all the snow coming down and then do it again. Feel that wonderful energy of this light, fluffy snow. As we come up, pause, and then scatter it as we breathe out. Shifting your weight forward as you go down, shifting your weight back as you come up. One more time. And bring the feet back to center. And now bring your right foot out, left foot back, turn it at a 45 degree. And again, we scoop, come down, scoop down, bring it up the body. Nice and slow alignment with the breath. Try to extend the breath. We all have a tendency to go too fast. And as always, remain in your comfort zone with all of these postures. You should never feel any discomfort or pain. If you do, limit the range of motion. One more time. And 
and down. Good. Come back to the Wuji dance. We're gonna bring our hands around and then we're gonna throw it to the side. So we bring it around, gather up the snow and throw it. Breathing in as you come up, breathe out when you go to throw. Our winter version of Fisherman Casts a Net. One more time. Come back to center, turn to the opposite side. So now we're gonna have to come around. Shifting the weight. Gathering that big ball of snow and throwing it. One more time. And come back. Let's do a couple of versions, our own versions of snow angels. So we're going to raise our hands up a little wider stance. And just lean a little bit to the right. Push the hips out. Come back to center. Lean to the left. So the head doesn't move very much in this. It's out of the waist and hips and obviously the arms. Breathe in as you come back to center. Breathe out as you go to the side. One more time. Uh, side. Come back to center. Now lean with the entire body in your head, first to the right. Just kind of let it hang, feel that stretch all down the side of your body. Just breathe into it, relax into it. Come back to center. Relax for a second. 
And now to the left. Back to center, relax, and down. Good. We're going to come up. We're going to lean this time to the left first as we breathe out. Breathe in back to the center. Breathe out to the right. Breathe in back to the center. Turn to the left. Back to center. Turn to the right. Back to the center. And down. So breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more time. Go to a wider stance. Arms out to the side, palms up. Or actually, palms forward a little bit. We're going to take our right hand. We're going to bring it over to the left. Then we're going to trace up the inside of the arm to the chest. And then when you get to the chest, you're going to take that energy and throw it to the side. Then you're going to come around with the left hand, draw it across. Embracing lightning, in case we have any thunder boomers today. Not likely. The storm is, I think, passing. One more time, he said. And back to center. Good. Let's give the kidneys a nice rub. And then you can either keep your hands on your kidney or move them an inch or two away and picture dark blue light coming out of your palms, filling those kidneys or feel the energy leaving your palms going into the kidneys. Just breathe in. The loving energy. Kidneys are the batteries of the body. Especially in winter, we want to make sure that they're topped off. Getting ready for spring when we use that energy to kind of burst forth. Use the back of your hands. Up and down the spine, on either side of the spine. Don't hit any bone.
and can cross turn this uh, open fist right along the top of the glute muscle from just almost to the hip to almost to the spine of the tailbone. We're staying on muscle the entire time. Come around the front and now tap in the leg crease, known as the qua, the leg gates. The time later, you may want to go online. On my site, I have how to massage the psoas muscle, which is right in there. That will help release the lower back, but you got to do it lying down. Good, come up to the sternum, tap the sternum. Nice deep breaths, opening up the lungs, stimulating the immune system. And then come over to just inside the shoulder crease on the chest muscle, stimulating lung one and lung two points for improved respiration and immune system. And then come over to the opposite side. Good, let your hands drop. Just for a moment, look inwardly. Try to notice where the energy's flowing and where it may not be, where you may have some stagnation or blockage. Notice where you may have some muscle tension or pain. Just identify it and move on. Just by Identifying these points, we facilitate healing. Bring the hands up, palms facing up, up to the chest, and then over to your left shoulder, palms facing you. Look at the outer palm. And turning the palms away from you, pushing with the heels of the hands, pulling the fingers back slightly, look over the opposite shoulder. So as we breathe in, we look at the palm. Pause. Then we breathe out as we look away and push away. You can kind of think of this as our posture. Stop throwing snowballs at me. on that, looking to the horizon as the hands go out and then the palm. One more time. And then bring it all the way into the chest, down to the ground. We bring up fresh energy and we come up to the right shoulder. We're gonna push away and look away. Remember to push with the heels of the hands, 
pulling the fingers back slightly. I put my fingers out, I can extend the arm all the way out and I lock out the elbow. I don't want to do that. I want to push with the heels of the hands so that you can feel the tension along the arms, shoulders, the neck when you do that. And then we're holding it just a more, letting that tension kind of dissipate and then relax and then start again. One more time. Bring it into the chest and push it down to the ground. Good, bring your hands to your hips. Push your hips back and to the side and forward and to the opposite side. Nice big hip circles. Try not to move the head, the shoulders, it's all out of the hips. And reverse. Good, come to a wider stance. Feet facing forward. We're gonna to turn to the left. We're then gonna bend down. We're gonna look at the heel of the left foot. And then as we move, we're gonna follow it to the toes of the right, of the left foot, across the ground to the toes of the right foot to the heel and then once we're sideways like that we're going to come up then we're going to drop down and go back the same path so we breathe out as we go down and across breathe in as you come up Good. One more time, both directions, and then we're going to add a little element to this. And back to the center. Good. So this time what we're going to do is once we come all the way across, we're going to take that side of the foot, we're going to turn it out. We're gonna put more weight into the back foot and we're gonna really lean into it, lean back. And then drop down, foot comes forward, the other foot turns and then lean. So breathe out, breathe in. You want to keep your hands on your thighs Give a little extra push here, or just use it to stabilize.
One more time each side. And back to center. Good. Bring your feet in. Imagine you're standing in the snow. We're going to clear it with our foot. So we're going to kick forward, come back to center, kick back to center. You need to put your foot down. That's fine. To the side and then across and then down. And then we go to the opposite foot. You can put your hand on a chair or wall to stabilize yourself, putting your foot down each time is fine. Find the focal point about 12 feet in front of you on the floor or a point on the wall. Staring on that will definitely help with the balance. So we go forward, go back, go to the side, go across, back to center, switch back forward, back, side, side, back, opposite foot, forward, back, side, side, back. One more time, either side. Keeping the feet about shoulder width apart, bring your hands down just above your knees. Give a nice rub there. Then take your fingers, put them over the kneecaps, keeping the heel and above the knee. And see if you can feel the energy coming out of loud gun points, points in your palms filling the knees with that energy. See if you can feel warmth or even cold, filling the knees. Imagine sparkling light. Let's tap on the outside of the knees. Tap on the inside of the knees. Tap behind the knees. Good. Come back to the starting point where the fingers are over the kneecaps and bring the knees forward, out to the side, round and back. Nice big circles with the knees. And reverse. And slow it down, come to a stop. Bring your feet as close together as comfortable. Knees are going to touch, keeping the hands together. The knees turn together in one direction. 
still feeling all of that energy coming out of the palms, filling those knees, dispelling any blockages, any stagnation, and reverse. Good, come to a stop. And keeping the hands still, fingers over the kneecaps, you're gonna bend down from the knees. And as you do, you're gonna rotate your hands. So you're starting with fingertips down. As you go down, your hands are gonna rotate so the fingertips point at each other. And then as you come up, fingertips go back to pointing down. So we're just gonna go down and up. One more time. Good, again, turn circles the opposite direction that you did before. Good. Step out a little bit wider, nice stable platform. As you well, let's first just go ahead and lift whichever leg you want. Bring the knee up. Nice and slow, stabilize yourself and then bring it down. Switch to the opposite side. Remember to find that focal point, staring at that focal point to help with balance. One more time. Good. Now we're gonna do it with the arm. So the same side arm is gonna come up and it's gonna be like a 90 degree angle. And then it goes down with the leg and then we switch to the opposite side. Breathe in as you come up, pause. Breathe out as you down. One more time each side. Good. Breathe out, come down. Pause as you come around the toes and breathe in as you come up the inside of the legs to the quad, the leg crease. Then come into the center, then move back around. Breathe out. And breathe out. One more time. Step out to a little wider stance. Right hand for now, just let it hang. Left hand, come across the body. Then it's gonna come across and up as it comes up. We're gonna grab a snowflake. We're gonna spread the energy of the snowflake across the sky, bring it to the center and then down into us and then we switch hands across breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out Thank mm -hmm. you. 
in the snow is nothing more than energy being visualized. So we're reaching up, we're grabbing that energy, spreading it across the universe, gathering it and bringing it into our bodies. One more time inside. Good, bringing it down, bring the feet closer together. We're gonna breathe into the lungs. And as soon as we breathe in, we're bringing the energy up through the bottom of the feet coming up onto our toes as we bring it up into the chest and then breathing out as we go flat footed and send the energy back down to the earth that we no longer need. So we breathe in fresh energy and breathe out energy that we no longer need that no longer serves us. One more time. Good, step out to a little bit of a wider stance, bend down, gather the snow, but then with the back of the hands, bring it up the body to the chest. You breathe all breath, and then send energy the longer need back to the earth to be recycled. So we breathe in, breathe out the fountain, bring the energy in the cave. Try to bend at the knees, not the waist. So that as you straighten your legs, your arms naturally just rise up the center line of your body. We want to use as little effort as possible. One more time. And down. Uh, good. Keeping that same stance. Put your right hand forward, palm up. Left hand, scoop back. Grab that snow, throw it. Scoop back with the opposite hand, throw it. Breathe in as you gather, breathe out as you throw. Expect to have a snowball fight with Qigong, did you? One more time each side. And good, bringing down the heavens, God energy is. As you breathe in, and then just cascade down around your body. gathering snow, got this big, nice, fluffy snowball up, and then let it just cast down all the sparkly mist around your body.
One more time. Good. Go into cloud hands. So the left hand comes up, palm facing the chest, the middle Dantian, right hand facing the lower Dantian or basically just below the belly button. Turn left from the waist without moving the arms. And the upper arm flows down, the upper arm, lower arm floats up. Establish that connection with the Dantians and then float over to the opposite side. Stare at your upper palm as you go across. And then as that drops down, we stare to the horizon until the other hand comes up and then we stare at that palm as that comes up. One more time each side. And back to the center and down. Let's help the storm move out. Let's do separating the clouds. So palms up, not quite chest height. Then the pinkies come together. Then we curl our fingers and hands into our chest. And then back of the hands come together, taking the energy from the chest, spreading it out into the universe. So we breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Put all your focus on moving the energy, gathering it, bringing it into the middle Dantian, taking energy from the middle Dantian, spreading it out for the good of all of the universe. One more time. Good. Bring your feet together or as close together as you're comfortable. Right hand, palm up, left hand sweeps out, thumb and first finger separate. Thumb points toward the center line of the body as it slowly down as you're breathing out. We get to the bottom, we switch. So we breathe in, pause, breathe out. As that hand comes down the center line, try to feel the energy coming out of the gap between the thumb and the first finger. It's called the tiger's mouth. Feel the energy of the three Dantians, the upper Dantian in the forehead, the middle Dantian in the chest, the lower abdomen, and lower Dantian in the abdomen, balancing so that no Dantian has more or less energy than the other. One more time. Good, you finish with one palm over the other. Feel that energy coming out of the palms, going into your body, and then spreading through the body. 
Feel that warm, loving energy spreading throughout your body. Picture beautiful white light spreading through the body, removing any darkness, any stagnation, any blockages, removing negative thoughts and emotions until your glow with this beautiful, warm, loving light. And then allow it to expand beyond your physical body, encasing you in a protective cocoon. And as you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be held, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those energies, those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you. Great class.